In today's lesson, I'm going to be showing you how we can create some Apple alerts in Swift UI, and it's going to be using a package called SP alert, and it's going to look like this. So if we click on show alert, we'll get this very nice toast message, and we can modify that to be any length and also show any text we like. And if we decide to, we can also make a much nicer animated alert such as that one. And we can also add some code that should be triggered after it ends. As you can see right there, if we click on show alert two, it's going to end it and it's going to show the first alert as soon as it ends. But to get started, we want to go ahead and create a new empty project and we're going to change it to our trusty iPhone 13. Click on resume just to make sure that the program is functioning correctly. And as I mentioned earlier, we're going to be using a package called SP Alert. So I'm going to leave that in the description down below so that you can copy that link and go to the file and click on add packages. Inside the packages, of course, enter your URL and click on SP Alert so that we can add the package. Then click on add package. Now we can go back to our content view where we had our iPhone 13 and we can start editing the code. So first we need to make sure we have this import, so SP alert, and then we can go ahead and create the state variables. So this is going to function exactly the same way as a normal alert, except of course it's going to be a more Apple customized alert. So here we're going to create a state private var show alert and that's going to equal false initially and we're going to do the same thing for the second one so we can just call this show alert 2 now the next thing we're going to do is create a v stack and inside here we just want to specify the spacing to be 20 and right below that we can create a button which is just going to show the first alert so show alert and we need to open a closure and type in show alert dot toggle. Now, just like a normal alert, you just go under a view that you want to attach it to and use it as a modifier. So SP alert, it's going to ask, is it present? And here we can bind it to the show alert. Now this by itself is not really good because it doesn't do anything. I mean, we didn't really tell it what it should display and how long it should display it for. Although by default, it's going to display it for about two seconds. So we're going to fix that by typing in message, which will be of type string. And here we can type in learning is easy, exclamation mark. Followed by a duration of let's say one second. So it's nice and short. Now with that being done, you can actually run the emulator and you're going to notice this very quick pop-up when you click on the button. And of course it might be actually too quick. So change it to two seconds and click on show alert again and it will last a bit longer. So that's a very nice way to add this alert. But let's go ahead and try to edit this a bit more. And we can close the sidebar at this point because we're not using it. And right below we'll type in button which is going to hold show alert two. And I actually want this to have a different tint. So tint of dot orange. And we need to toggle show alert two dot toggle. Now, just like the first SP alert, we can go ahead and just do exactly the same thing. So dot SP alert is present. And we're gonna type in is bound to show alert number two. And for this, we'll type in title, which will be set to code palace. And the message will be set to this tutorial has been completed. And as you may have noticed, you don't really have to add these spaces one by one. I just do it as a personal preference because it's easier to keep track of. And yeah, we'll just continue with the duration being set to 2.0 seconds. We can also if we decide to add a dismiss on tap, which I will set to false. If this is set to true, you're going to have to wait for the user to tap on the notification to effectively end it. Then we also have some presets. So here we can go ahead and choose whether we want a heart, a done, a spinner, 
or an error depending on what we want to display to the user. I'll also show you how we can use the custom one, but for now we're just going to click on done. And we also have haptics, which are vibrations that tell the user whether something went good, bad, or it's just a immersive way to show the user physically through the device that something has been done in a certain way. And for this, we can choose between warning, error, success, and none. And I'll just stick to the success. And for the layout, we're going to go ahead and type in init. And the init will correspond to having the normal dimensions. Otherwise, you can go ahead and add this one here, which tells you what kind of icon size you want, the margins, and the space between icon and title. You can edit those if you want, but the regular init is perfect. It's the default Apple one we can say. And of course, it's very important that we do something upon completion. And you don't have to do this, but it can always be nice. So once the alert is done, you can print something or you can make some calculation. This alert has been completed. And you can also go ahead and toggle the first alert. So show alert dot toggle. Now we can actually zoom this in a bit because I can't see anything and click on play. Now, if we go ahead and click on show alert two, we'll get that really nice animation. And as soon as it's done, it's going to toggle this completion listener and execute the code inside there. And we can also use a different preset such as the heart. And if we click on show alert, there'll be a nice heart there and so on. But let me show you how to add a custom image. So to do that, go to preset, hold custom, and inside here, just insert a UI image. So UI image, and we can go for a system name, and we can do something simple like a leaf. And we need to assert that this is not going to be empty. So just like that, we can go ahead and click on our show alert too, and we will see this beautiful leaf being displayed as a custom icon. But of course, there's many ways to edit this. We can also go to error, and run this one more time, and you'll see an animation of an X. But anyways, with that being said, that's actually all I wanted to cover regarding this really cool Apple alert, and I hope that helped. I hope that clarified what these parameters do. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.